There are ways to rappel down a loaded, taut climbing rope, including the zigzag method, which has evolved over time. Let's go through that evolution and explain why it has evolved. Hello again, I'm Jason. A while ago now, we did a video about descending on prussics when having to rappel on a loaded double strand. The idea was that our climbing partner had gone down first and then was incapacitated, leaving his or her weight on the rope. That meant that we either couldn't get our device onto the rope, or if the device was pre-rigged, we were now on a fireman's belay and would not be able to descend. Well, someone pointed out that, yes, there is a faster option but the older method they shared has evolved. Let's go through that evolution as both a way to know this technique, but also point out some of the thought process so you may be able to apply it elsewhere. The method is sometimes called the zigzag. It began by taking a two locking carabiner set, placing the top locker around one rope and not the other, then creating a cross in ropes around that carabiner, and then sliding the bottom carabiner between the lower strands. A third carabiner is now added as the connection point to our belay loop. The final step was putting in a rappel back up above the carabiners. Cool, huh? It divides the ropes and allows us to manage the ongoing tension of the loaded ropes so we can rappel rather than press it down, which is a lot faster. But there is very little friction being created by the carabiners. Could we hold the tension on the rappel without the pressic? So the next step in the evolution was to add more friction. This time we put two carabiners, each with their own cross. So we have double the number of points where the rope is being divided. We connect the two carabiners with a third and add a fourth carabiner to connect to ourselves. Again, we can connect a friction hitch above the system. But with that friction hitch above, we run into a problem if we lose control of the rappel and suddenly weight that hitch. It can be very hard to unweight it and loosen it and get going again. If we are in a rescue scenario, we probably would prefer to not have to take the time to add a foot prussic to stand up in. So instead of a prussic knot or a clem heist or the like, we can add a VT hitch to the top of the system, clipping it into the top carabiner. We have a short on how to tie this hitch. The VT hitch can be released under load, so if we accidentally load it and it catches, we don't have to fully unweight the system to get going again. It also takes one less carabiner, as we don't need to attach the VT hitch to our harness. And yes, this is the version of the system that Andy Kirkpatrick illustrates in his seminal book, Down. There is a link to the book in the description. Better method? No system is perfect, so do you have any other concerns about this setup? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can check out that short on how to tie the VT hitch necessary for today's system, or maybe take a look at our entire rock climbing safety series. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.